kind of a sick person would make this motorcycle? Triumph, why would you do this? Also, thank you for doing this. There is nothing that can prepare you for the experience of riding a Triumph Rocket 3. And that's because there's practically no other motorcycle like it. Sure, there are a few other power cruisers out there, but only the Rocket carries the distinction of having the largest combustion engine of any production motorcycle ever. This inline triple cylinder motor is nearly 2,500 cc's. It makes 165 horsepower and 163 pounds feet of torque, delivered in a curve that resembles El Capitan. If you point a Triumph rocket east and pin the throttle, you will momentarily slow the rotation of the Earth. At least that's how it feels. Motorcycles of Dulles in Dulles, Virginia were offering test rides of this Rocket 3R, so of course I showed up. But I was nervous. Not just about the insane motor, but also about the sheer size of the thing and the curb weight of nearly 700 pounds. That may not sound like much to you cruiser guys, but I'm not normally a cruiser guy. Oh, this is a big bike, and this is a big motor. Thankfully though, the rocket hides its weight well, both at low speed in the parking lot and when going around corners out on the road. Once I'd gotten a feel for the weight, it was time to test out the power. Here we go. Oh my god! Woo! Alright, so that was rain mode. We are going to go up to sport. Jesus! Woo! I like those little backfires with the exhaust. Amazingly, despite the massive performance figures, the 2.5 liter triple does not make the rocket difficult to ride. I mean, I've ridden powerful bikes before, but this is the kind of powerful that I like. This is the kind of powerful that just makes things easy rather than frantic or overly aggressive. But when you do decide to roll on it, Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it likes that. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. It's, it's almost comical. It's remarkable enough that Triumph put this freight train engine in a motorcycle and made it rideable, but that's not all you're getting with a Rocket 3. There is, of course, the complete suite of electronic creature comforts and safety aids. And on top of that, the level of premium finishing and attention to detail is amazing. Between the single-sided swing arm, the cool twin headlights, and of course, the beautiful monstrosity of a motor, the Rocket 3 has no bad angles. Not only did Triumph come up with this completely crazy idea for a motorcycle, but they executed it flawlessly, wrapping it up in a package that's not only stunning, but also totally unmistakable. I feel like there's potential here as a touring bike. That effortless power is exactly what I want when there's a big stretch of freeway between the end of one interesting road and the beginning of the next one. And unlike most purpose-built tourers, the Rocket 3 would actually be a blast to ride once I did reach that <laughs> next set of fun twisty roads. I'd be curious to find out if this saddle is all day comfortable. If it is, then the Rocket's only real limitation as a tourer would be its relatively short fuel range of about 150 miles. The Rocket seen here is the R model, providing a slightly sportier riding posture than the Rocket 3 GT, which features forward foot controls, backswept bars, and a couple other things like a fly screen and a pillion backrest. Given my druthers, I think I'd like to combine the bars of the GT with the more mid-mounted foot pegs of the R. Woo. Who would do this? What kind of a sick person would make this motorcycle? Triumph, why did you think this was a good idea? Also, thank you for making this Rocket 3. I love it. If you haven't guessed by now, I want one of these. And the only thing stopping me from getting one is the price. $23,000. <sighs> Someday, when I'm rolling in dough and I'm adding a fourth or fifth motorcycle to the stable, I'll get a Rocket 3 as my dedicated long-range tourer, and maybe for flexing on the occasional bike night. 
Until then, I'll just have to try to find a way to stop thinking about it. I want to thank Motorcycles of Dulles for the chance to ride this Rocket 3R. They actually do demo events like this pretty regularly. If you happen to see me at the next one, feel free to say hi. In the meantime, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I've got more quick test ride videos like this one in the works, as well as another Speed Twin road trip series that you won't want to miss. Until next time, you ride safe, and remember, motorcycles are for everyone.